Thanks, Greg. We got the hard part over with. I was afraid I'd fall through the steps for you guys. Look, do me a favor. If I look to your neighbor and ask him one question, can you? Now, here's my point. You guys may be wondering why I'm asking that. Did anybody guess what I do for a living? I can guess. I'm not dressed like Gary. It's just real casual. What do I do? What do I do, guys? Do I know? Business. No. I'll tell you what I do. I drive an 18 wheeler cross country and I write books. I've written two bestsellers. Okay. I, don't, I don't do that for an applause. I do that for this. Three years ago in April, my oldest son, who should have been sitting here with all of you, took his own life. That's my story. I decided to take my son's passing and use it as a motivation to come and speak to children, and kids, about choices. You see, Gary's right. You guys are the standard. You are tomorrow's leaders. It's not a joke. The reason you're tomorrow's leaders is because you have the power today to understand that you will choose and dictate where your life goes from here on out. You have the power of choice. You have the power of belief. You have the power of conv conviction and decision. And what that means is very simply this. You have it within yourselves to choose where you're going to go. What color are all these shirts? One of my favorite toy is, it's Lego blocks. Red, yellow, blue. You don't know why? Because life is like Legos, guys. Imagine if you go into a store and you see a big box of Lego blocks on it. What do you see? A castle, a space station? When you get home, is that castle or space station actually in the box? No, it's not. Or is it? See, to get that big, cool castle, you got to put the blocks, the little choices, in the right places. What that means is this. Every choice you make from here on out for your whole lives, no matter how small, doesn't just affect you. Well, you were all talking about earlier about how you want to stay in touch with each other, correct? Because you've learned a lot. You've made a lot of friends here. Has anybody here made a friend? Okay. Those are people you want to stay in touch with, aren't they? But you got to choose to do that. It's a small choice, is it not? But you know, that smallest choice could lead you to a bigger choice. It's not that it's going to affect you. Think about it like this. If something happened to one of you, any of you, and you had made a good friend here and they found out about it, you think it would affect them? All right. My son died April 24th, 2008. He took his own life. Not a joke. You can look it up. It didn't affect just him. It affected me as his father, his mother, his two stepbrothers, his two stepsisters. It affected his girlfriend. It affected his friends at school, his principal, his teachers. You see, choices are very easy to make, but good choices are a, lot, a little bit harder to make. In, informed choices and educated choices. That's what we're here about. You guys are here to learn how to be leaders. I'm not here to teach you how to be leaders. Like Gary, I'm here to talk to you about life. I've lived here, I'm 38 years old. And like Gary, I come from a family where getting a B on a test is a capital of punishment and resulted in me being beat unconscious. I learned how to use a bull whip, ladies and gentlemen, by having one used on me. I guarantee you that none of you ever want to go through that. And I pray that none of you ever face what I've faced in my life, what Gary's faced in his life. I know each and every one of you have had a really good time here this week. And you're going to go back to your schools and all the people that you've met here, God willing, you will stay in touch with. But never forget, you choose who you're going to become. You choose where you're going to go. You choose what you believe in. You choose what you will commit to and what you will decide the rest of your life. You got that young man who was really good at Jumping over high things. Well, guess what, guys? You are the bar. Raise it as high as you want. Mm. Albert Einstein once said that there are two things in the universe that are infinite. One of them is the universe itself, and the other one is human stupidity. He wasn't sure, so sure about human stupidity. The point is this. Choose well. Sit down. Figure out what your options are. Don't make a rash decision because of peer pressure or your friends 
If your I am, like Gary talks about, grabs you, and you know it's right, then guess what? Run with it. And let it run with you. I wrote two very successful books. I'm not like, like Gary, I come from a, a shoot, I come from a wood clapboard house. Been on my own since I was 13. And here I am. I've written two bestsellers. I have a beautiful home. Not because I'm special, but because I do what I love. My son passing made me realize that not enough people talk to the people that are taking us into tomorrow. I have a challenge for each and every one of you. As Gary sits here, stands back there and watches me make a fool out of myself, Gary, I have a challenge for each and every one of you. And that challenge is Webster's, Insights, Webster's Dictionary defines the word awesome as something that leaves you in awe and wonder. So I challenge each of you, whether you're wearing a red shirt or a yellow shirt or a gray shirt or a blue shirt, it doesn't matter, a white shirt to make awesome choices for the rest of your lives. Because guys, you're going to be the ones that choose where you go, how you get there. There's a wide road and there's a narrow road. That trick is, sometimes, the wide road doesn't leave where you think it does. And the narrow road does. My favorite poem is by Robert Frost. Anybody ever heard of him? What's his most famous poem? Does anybody know? Can somebody quote it for me? That's right. Two, wood, two roads diverged than a wooden eye. I chose the one less traveled by. Choose to follow the one less traveled by, ladies and gentlemen. That's all you've got to do. Choose to follow the one less traveled by. Because you see, anybody can just walk the same music as everybody else. Choose your own drummer. Again, ladies and gentlemen, I challenge you, make awesome choices because you're tomorrow's leaders.